so we're by the fiestry now we're outside because i just wanted to vlog and be like hi hello welcome to this vlog this piercing vlog where i'll be getting a tongue ring it's kind of crazy i'm so nervous but i told myself like if you don't think about it it's probably not gonna be that bad so i'm crossing my fingers and i'm so scared i've had a tongue ring before but it was like a down one i want like the okay it was a normal tongue ring i want a surface tongue ring so so i'm scared basically that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> oh my god i'm even like getting sweaty and stuff um but there's a line so we had to take numbers um and we're just gonna wait our turn i'm not sure what we're gonna do to kill time but yeah we're just waiting whatever you wanna say hi my sister's here she's also getting a piercing yeah we're excited we are also i don't know i'm just so nervous but i ate just so you know i ate um not too much because i didn't want to get like you know nauseous or anything like that so i'm ready i'm prepared i ate some i'm eating gum right now to have fresh breath you know you can't be you know wiling out yeah we're probably gonna walk around there mm. yeah we're gonna walk around so see you guys later so we took a oh let me get closer so we took a walk and now we're back at the pier today and we're waiting i don't think we're gonna be being pierced anytime soon oh my god i got so afraid it's so hot that i lost my number no it's so hot like it's unbelievably hot right jen is like i feel like one of the hottest months of the year so i think december might be the hottest but it wasn't that bad last year but yeah what do you mean? You remember last year's December? Bro, it's a new year. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you were the one in 2022. <laughs> no, I can't remember that. Actually, I can. That was really hot. Okay, no, I remember the year where we had visited home and we weren't living at home. Remember how hot that December was? Bro. She's like not even listening to me. Like, I'm trying to talk to her. To her kids. Oh, the people, the people, the people. Um, remember that December when we weren't living at home, but then we visited. Mm. That was the hot. That was hot. Because the city is colder than the city is colder than our neighborhood. Yeah, it's like way colder. So hopefully it cools down. It's actually looking like it's gonna rain, but I kind of hope it doesn't rain because like rain with a wig, I can handle it. Rain with an afro, I don't want it. I don't want it. Yeah. I don't want I've never experienced it. <laughs> I have and it's like just like drip product dripping down like you know hair's all it's going through some stuff. It might not deflate but it's definitely gonna be annoying. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully it rains when we get home so we can have a nice chill session with each other. Probably talk, probably gossip, probably kiki. I'll try to film it but I probably won't. But I'll try. Because we have some really cool conversations. We have some really cool conversations and I always think, damn, we should start a podcast. But then I'm like, am I being like those people who definitely shouldn't start a podcast, but start a podcast. But let me not hate. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm nervous. Some people shouldn't start a podcast. That's true. Some, some people, people shouldn't have been allowed to buy that microphone. Nah. <laughs> they should start doing psychological evaluations before selling microphones. Nah, that microphone did not do them well. <laughs> It did them so dirty. It did them. Nee, it took them to a place they didn't need to go to psychologically. So yeah. Oh. Sorry. Did you wait? Oh. So. Oh, she's being cute. She's filming me. But it's fine. Now I'm gonna get two separate tongue rings, and I'm kind of scared because now that's two piercings instead of one. But my sister's also getting two piercings, so I kind of feel comforted. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared than I was before. But I just like feel like it's just like a band aid, just gonna rub it off. I mean, I've always wanted to, 
so shouldn't be too bad, shouldn't be too hectic. So we're home. Um, as you can hear, I sound a little bit strange, but I'm trying to talk normal, like for the most part. But I'm trying not to talk that much. So um, I don't know if I should show you guys. I don't want to scare you. <laughs> oh my god! I feel like I'm scaring y'all. Um, but. I feel like it wasn't that bad, like, I, it was bad, okay? It was bad because I was scared, and because it's, like, two in one, like, area, and just two in one day is just so intense. I've never done it besides my ears, so that was, I think, what really got me, but, um, I'm fine. We're gonna hang out now. I'm trying to film it. <sighs> I'm just so grateful that I'm okay and that it's over. I bought some um, Knorr. I bought some Knorr and um, I'm gonna have that for the next couple of days probably until I think I'm ready to eat solids, which is probably gonna, I don't know where I'm gonna eat solids, but I'm just like thinking one step at a time. But yeah, I'm happy. This is like what I wanted since I was 16, so I'm very happy. I found this so funny, like, I have like four liquids here, right, because I'm getting ready to eat. I have like cold tea, it's still cooling down. I have the salt water after I'm done eating to rinse my mouth, and then I have this cup of Knorr soup and then I have this bottle of cold water for apparently in between eating and stuff I should like drink water so mm. <laughs> so it's been a couple of hours and I ate some soup and I had oh I told you guys I showed you guys so I ate that food I didn't finish the soup because it was just so much <sighs> it was just so intense and um mostly because of the flavors i'm not to describe it like it was so savory and so thick excuse my bra straps my bra straps are widening my bra straps are always widening but it didn't have um i mean it was really thick so it was really hard to swallow like just throw it at the back of my throat basically so I had to like take it small spoon at a time and I think I made it wrong because um, it had clumps. So I had to protect myself from the clumps. <laughs> and the tea was really nice. The tea was really fun. The tea was my favorite part of the meal, but the water, the water felt really good going down. So like it felt really good on my tongue. So I'm still drinking water and I had a sweet, I had some candy, I had like half of a sweet, it's like a kind of soft candy and I was really listening for it because we just bought it today. So I really wanted it, I really needed it and I just ate something savory and every time I ate something savory I need something sweet afterwards, like that's just my thing. So ate something sweet, that was a sweet, <laughs> something sweet and it was nice. It was nice. 
it didn't hurt i just used one side of my mouth which is fine and the swelling's not too bad i feel like it's gonna swell up more tonight i don't know why that's how my piercings work every time i've had a piercing um the night time was the worst time for me i don't know what's up with that when i first get it done i guess it's like all the adrenaline is still there but as soon as i go to sleep and relax it's like oh i'm gonna swell up oh so um what else happened i rinse my mouth with the salt water because they say to do that after you eat and i made it too salty so it was really hardcore and i just rinsed my mouth with water after the salt water because i was like mm, i can't just live with this immense amount of salt i don't know that's what i was supposed to do in the first place but i thought just let it but now i had to rinse it out so i hope that's fine i was make the salt water water less salty next time um because that's what they said i should do they said i should just use salt water um I'm doing fine i really miss the feeling of a tongue ring in my mouth so the fact that it's in my mouth again i'm low-key happy i'm low-key enjoying myself it's kind of weird but so i just ate some chips which is like very chaotic of me and honestly the eating experience was okay until this one point where i felt like i was like getting sauce in my tongue ring which is very painful, but it wasn't too bad. But now I feel like my tongue's a little swollen. It's actually not too bad. But I just hope I can eat so soon because I am actually really hungry. I think my period is here, so I keep crying. We're watching Erin Brokovich, ne? Mm -hmm. And I literally have cried so many times, a little bit in pain. I think I should take a painkiller actually. So I got into my, I got into my, oh my God, I'm so paranoid. The exposure on my camera is being weird and it does this every now and then, like when I'm filming, it decides that it doesn't want to have good exposure, but hopefully it stops. I had like locked the exposure. So anyways, um, I'm so tired. I want to take a nap, but I feel like I shouldn't do that because I already slept at like 3 a.m., which was so chaotic of me, but I literally couldn't sleep and I was spiraling. Um, you can hear all about it on my Twitter, but I'm really tired. I'm really tired, and I know that's why I'm tired, but there's nothing I can do. Like, honestly, I just have to stay awake. But besides that, my tongue is like doing okay. Like, I told my sister, I described it like, it's like I was eating a sucker. And it was like, <laughs> I didn't bite it, like, fast enough. So, you know, when you do that, then the, the my God, I'm literally so tired. <laughs> you know, when you do that, it, like, scratches your tongue and, the, like, stuff. That's how my tongue feels. Right now, it's swelling down. I drank a bunch of water. So, maybe that's why I just keep drinking water. Yeah. So, I just ate again. I had the rest of the chips. My tongue does feel funky and fresh. But I feel like it's like not that bad. I'm not to describe it. Like I feel like it is swelling, but it's not that bad and hopefully it stays not that bad. I am about to eat pancakes and ice hot chocolate. Because I'm really hungry. I don't know why I'm so hungry or I don't know what's going on. But this might be good night. If it isn't, you'll see. But it might be good night for now, y'all. I'm tired. My sister just called it a night and I was I wanna call it a night too. So see you in the morning. So um we're watching Scooby Dooby Doo. I just ate or tried to eat some bread and cheese. But my mouth decided I've had enough eating for the day. My eating limit is past its limit. So it's the second day. It's like basically the end of the day. And my tongue's okay. I feel like it's um more swollen. Or I'm noticing it more. 
because I have to be more careful like than yesterday. Yesterday I was eating no problem, like not like for real no problem, but like not as bad as this. And now I'm eating and I have to like eat really slowly. I've been eating the same meal since this morning and it's a lot. I've been drinking a lot of water, so that's fine. And it's a little hard to talk. I have to like concentrate real hard. So that's the thing too. Swallowing is a lot, drinking water and it feels good. But then um, drinking water feels good, but then the swallowing, like it going down your throat, it's just too much. It's just so much. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, I slept until like 12 today because last night I could barely sleep because like um, my tongue was so swollen. And I just couldn't get comfortable. I don't know what's going on with me. But. <laughs> but here we are. You know. I'm not too mad. I did miss having a dangling in my mouth. So I'm very happy. Um, and I'm really excited for when it's healed. So I'm not like too. You know. Triggered. Because it's actually not that bad. Like last time. My tongue was like. You know, like really swollen, like thick, you know. Maybe it's because I got it pierced at this other lady. She was really a interesting character. Um, but now I got it pierced by professionals. Well, yeah, professionals. And I just want to close my eyes. I've been taking so many painkillers. I know the lady said I shouldn't be afraid to take. Um... What's it called? Anti-inflammatory because of how much it could swell. So I've just been taking painkillers as well. And I don't know if it's helping, but I also put an ice block in my mouth, you know, last night. And then that's actually what got me to fall asleep. I wouldn't recommend to do it all the time, but um, it like helped my tongue feel less um, tender. It's really insane. I feel so proud of myself. And I also feel so, like, um, shocked. <laughs> I'm so shocked. Oh, my God. I'm so shocked. Uh, I would rate my experience um, 10 being amazing, 1 being horrible. I would rate my experience 9 out of 10. I would say that some stuff did happen where I'm, like, uh, you know not enjoying it the most but besides those few moments i so you know had an okay time but anyways thank you for watching boo see you again for another vlog or whatever um love you so much bye